Maybe if you remember the music, that too will swirl around in you and around you as you go on through the day. And we remember that, like it, we have the Holy Spirit in us. And one of the gifts of the Spirit is to be able to pray to God. So let's now pray. Firstly, the prayer of the Church, the Collect, for this week. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire. Strengthen your children with the gift of faith. Revive your Church with the breath of love. And renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. What a prayer to ask. And let's, as we continue through this time marked by the virus, go on praying for everyone coping with it. Those who are ill and those who are locked down. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid or in isolation. In their loneliness be their consolation. In their anxiety be their hope. In their darkness be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we pray for all carers, especially those at Bernard Sunday in working homes, but also for medical staff in hospitals and elsewhere. Gracious God, give skill, sympathy and resilience to all who are caring for the sick and your wisdom to those searching for a cure. Strengthen them with your spirit that through their work many will be restored to health through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. But at a time too when we may be cut off from family and friends, let's pray for them. Lord Jesus, as you travel with us, be also with all whom we love, wherever they are. Guide and comfort them, protect them and support them. We think of families shut up at home, of those who have to go to work perhaps in the NHS or other key jobs or now increasingly elsewhere, and all those who are simply trying to cope wherever they are. Be close to them, and as you are close to us, so join us with them through and in your love. In Jesus' name. Amen. And we continue to remember those who have died and those who grieve. God, you are our Father in heaven and you hold and receive all who have died. We are close to you in death as we are close to you in life. Hold them in your overwhelming and transforming love and gather into it also our love for those we have cherished and who are now with you. Be close to, to all who grieve at this time. Touch them with strength 
and comfort and trust. Strengthen them in the knowledge of your eternal purpose for us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. And as we think of our world in all its troubles, we pray the prayer which Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now, let's close with the final hymn or song, which is perhaps one of those foot-tapping ones that I expect you'll be having in your mind for the rest of the day. Give me joy in my heart. Keep me praising.